Hi, this is for my friend Zayin Taj. I hope I say your name right. Look, you just take your pencil and you make some circles. And by going very lightly, you can make it look 3D dimensional. You want to kind of get rid of lines. Outlines don't help with this. And knowing how to shade on a sphere is very helpful. Try not to make it dirty. Try to keep the shading like that. Okay? So, play around with that. If you do that very, very lightly, you can create all kinds of wonderful things because that's a basic shape. So I'm going to make the eyeball first and this will help it make become real looking. I'm not drawing outlines, I'm drawing an eyeball. So I'm going to shade that in and then I'll put it in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this will be the pupil. And I'm leaving a little bit of space for a highlight. When you're doing this, it really helps to think of it like a camera lens with a shut shutter. You know that word? And I'm trying, as I talk, to make all the lines go directly to the center. And this will keep the eyeball looking like it is focused on you. And so I'm pressing and lifting. I'm using, a, um, I think, an 8B pencil. The nice dark pencil so that you can see easily. So now I'm coming around on the outside edge and making little tiny lines and it's just a press and a lift. Once I get that going, I might even it out by putting a few short strokes from the center out. Now I've left the top because I'm going to stretch an eyelid across this. So I'll make a place for the eyelid to attach. <laughs> My pencil broke, wouldn't you know it? Let me get a new one. I have no new pencils. <laughs> okay, I'll just use a bad pencil. Oh well. <laughs> so my line will be off because I don't know where my pencil sharpener is. Oh, here's a good pencil sharpener. I'm sorry, Z. I call you Z because sometimes Zarin die. Trying to get your name right. <laughs> okay, take a knife, get a nice sharp point. There we go. Sorry for the wait. Then, I will pull the eyelid over like this. And since this part of the eye goes into the skull, I can make that go very, very dark up here. With the um, art pencils, it's nice because you can um, smooth them out. So I can almost scribble to get started. Okay, this is the shadow where the eye goes back into the head, into the skull. If I come in here, Um, it can really help to put a shadow on the eyeball where the eyelid covers it because the uh, eyeball is underneath the eyelid, right? So here I'm starting to see a little bit of a shape of a face. It's really important to get the shape around the eyes and not just the eye because um, if you just do the eye alone, Later on, it's hard to do the whole portrait. So it's better if you kind of think of the shape of the skull. Um, these erasers that are white erasers are really good erasers. They are very smooth. Oh, look, another, a better pencil. I finally found one. Okay, now, Leonardo da Vinci from the Renaissance used to make a strong shadow at the top of the eye. And that's what makes it seem as though the eye is going to follow you around. So, 
as I'm working on this, you see how this sphere got shadowed here? Well, whenever something goes back, you just make it shadowed. Make it shadowed. Okay, now, as I build this, the lashes are stronger on the outside of the eye. And so if you put thicker lashes on the outside of the eye, you'll get a little bit more of a 3D effect. Another little trick is to be sure that you get the ledge of the eye, the thickness of the eyelid, because that can then make it seem as though the eye is in the skull a lot. So, what happens here is if you think of shadows instead of lines, it will be easier later to draw things like a nose. And I know noses seem difficult, but actually, if you practice doing a sphere, and I'll do a sphere here, a sphere here, Now I'm going to shade in the sphere. Now I'm going to make the nostril. <laughs> it's just play. Okay, now I'm going to make these seem as though they're around as well. Now, when I tie this together, oh, her nose is off. <laughs> when I tie this together, I didn't line up the nose and the eye. I got just involved in looking at spheres for the nose. You can see here that you can easily start getting the feeling of the nose at any rate. This is exaggerated. These are the shapes to look for on the nose. Um, when you look at photographs, if you can look for these exaggerated shapes, it really helps. Um, lips are also like spheres. But they're just flattened out. So making it like this. The top lip is always darker than the bottom lip. If you make the center part of the mouth first, and then add this to the side, you'll get a quick sketch of lips. If I was drawing seriously and not doing a quick sketch to show you, this would take a lot longer. But the trick here is to learn how to do this and to take your pencil and very very lightly create a shadow and see the moon here the moon shape keep those moon shapes very clean don't try to over blend like don't try to make it dirty and another trick is to do layers if you have one layer it becomes very slick and smooth and so it's easier to build up when you already have a layer uh, underneath it. I hope you enjoyed this. I want to see what you did. Bye.